Good morning. I'd like to share some words of encouragement and a few thoughts uh, on uh, where we're, what we're doing right now and uh, words of encouragement to um, uplift my brothers and sisters in the family of God. God's brought us through some pretty horrific times in the past and, and we can rest assured that, that he'll do it again through this, this time in, in history. Um, in 1944, the world was embroiled in uh, World War II because of Hitler and the Nazis and Tojo and the Japanese military machine. Uh, death and suffering was happening to the human race on an unprecedented scale. Um, at that time, there was an American housewife named Ruth K. Jones, and she was burdened and stressed by the, all the turmoil and the evil of, of what was happening at her point in history. Um, one day, as she was doing her household tasks, she was struck by the uh, words from 2 Timothy 3, 1 that says, um, in these last days, we have to know that perilous times would come. As she read those words, um, the inspiration for a song came and she jotted the lyrics on a small notepad she kept in her apron pocket. Since that day, her hymn, In Times Like These, has been a blessing to many, many Christians in, in times of struggle and, and need. Um, Apparently, when Mrs. Jones watched George Beverly Shea perform her song on a, on a Billy Graham um, TV program, tears came to her eyes and she said, I can't believe I had any part in writing this song. I just feel that God gave it to me and I gave it to the world. We do indeed live in perilous times. Hopefully these words written 76 years ago will encourage you to have an anchor which grips the solid rock. In times like these, you need a savior. In times like these, you need an anchor. Be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus. Yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. In times like these, I have a savior. In times like these, I have an anchor. Be very sure, I'm very sure, my anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus, yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. I'm very sure, I'm very sure, my anchor holds and grips the solid rock. In times like these, you need the Bible. In times like these, oh, be not idle. Be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus. Yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure, be very sure, your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. Please join me in prayer. Our precious Father, help us to know the reality that you are our rock and our anchor. And it's in your Son, Jesus' holy name, we pray this. Amen. I'll leave you some more words um, to close, as the pastors like to say. Um, that usually gets some amens. But at any rate, um, hopefully these words will anchor you. Um, they're from the Amplified Version of the Word of God. In John 16, 33, Jesus said, I have told you these things 
so that in me you may have perfect peace. In the world you will have tri tri tribulation and distress and suffering. But be courageous, be confident, be undaunted, be filled with joy. I have overcome the world. My conquest is accomplished and my victory is abiding. Please have a great day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the link on the upper left hand side of your screen so you can see all of our videos when they come out. Or you can watch last Sunday's sermon by clicking the video link on the bottom left of your screen. From all of us at Sylvester Community Church, thank you and God bless.